Hello and welcome back. This is problem U grouping from at coder educational DP contest. The problem states that there are n rabbits numbered 1 to n and for each of i comma j of them the compatibility of rabbit i and j is described as a of i comma j which is matrix and compatibility of one another compatibility of a rabbit with itself is a zero and it is a symmetric matrix so that i and j and j and i have the same compatibility and arrow is dividing the uh, n rabbits into some number of groups and each rabbit must belong to exactly one group after grouping for each i and j the arrow earns e of i j points if rabbit i and j belong to the same group so for each pair of rabbits in a particular group we earn a points e of i j and we need to find the maximum possible to total score of all this uh, dividing the rabbit thing so basically we have n rabbits we want to divide them into multiple groups and find out what is the maximum points achievable over all the groupings that are possible the constraints are fairly small so we can use a bit mask or brute force approach let's try to analyze this so we need to divide this set s of integers 1 to n into disjoint sets and this condition need to be satisfied the union of this set is 1 to n so that we don't miss out any element and they are disjoint no to no element occurs in multiple groups and this sum of the scores of them is maximum this is essentially the problem and since the problem has fairly small constraints it is better to just use zeros and ones to represent whether a particular group what all elements are left out and what all elements are already taken so let's represent a following bit mask or n elements and one represents that the, that element uh, the at that position is not yet chosen and zero represents that it is chosen in some particular set now suppose uh, at some iteration of forming some groups we have this bit mask the next bit mask that we can achieve or after uh, taking a particular group or creating a particular group from all the non chosen elements we can create a new subset which is simply taking any subset of elements where it is one so there are one one up to uh, here in this case there are six ones and we can choose a subset of these six elements so there are two rest to six choices for the next group to be from formed so this is the main idea so suppose this is what we are currently at so wherever there is one that it means that that element is not yet chosen and next we can choose a subset from these positions wherever it is one and basically create a new group essentially there are two rest of six choices but i have only shown limited of them here so the idea is to choose a sub mask of ones sub mask is any number that can be formed from where zero remains zero but some of the ones become zero so as you can see in this case all the ones to the right hand side become zero in this case this one became zero here and these three zeros were introduced and so on and this this step is essentially creating a new group from the elements that we have at a particular step and after creating a group we will essentially add the cost or the score for that particular group and keep uh, trying the answer from this particular instances for, of possibilities so this straightforward 
uh, gives us a recurrence which is if we start at a particular mask which is a bit mask we in the next step we will choose a sub mask of that bit mask which is simply taking a subset of ones and in the next step we are basically choosing to change those ones into zeros and that next step is simply a recursive function which will have this bits unset wherever it was one in that sub mask so xor will essentially flip those bits wherever it was one from that sub mask and uh, the score for that sub mask will be added in the score and essentially this will give us the maximum achievable, achievable score and essentially uh, the mask value that we, with which we are going to call this function will be all the ones which is n times one because we are saying that one means that element is not chosen yet so at the starting we will we will not have chosen any element hence we must start this recursive function with all the bits set so all these bits will be one 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 n times and from that it will essentially have the base conditions where at some point all the elements are now considered and mask is zero zero means all the elements are now used up in some of the groups so this uh, score of a sub mask can be computed in order to rest to n times n square time because uh, we need to go over all the pairs and add a point e of ij so n square comes from that part and for calculating the scores for all the masks all the masks there are up to 2 raised to n masks and for each of them there can be order n square terms of well scores that need to be added for pre-computation and iterating over all the sub masks so this part can be pre-computed in order 2 raised to n times n square time but this part iterating over all the sub mask of a particular mask will take uh, 2 raised to n times 2 raised to n times because this will essentially for each of the mask there can be up to 2 raised to n possibilities and for this constraint n is equal to 16 this won't work so the, this is a well known technique so uh, i will not go into much detail but iterating over all the sub mask of a particular mask can be done in order 3n time which is uh, shown in this article you may go and read over and uh, try to make sense of it but essentially i'm going to just use the idea what they are going to do um, by taking the by, by, take, by taking the help of uh, the conclusion from this block so for all the masks so m denotes mask here sub mask is denoted by s we are iterating over all the sub masks s of the mask s mask m so m is the mask which is this one this the state of the tp and this s denotes the sub masks of that parameter and essentially using this where the the loop will be executed a total of 3 raised to n times and not 2 raised to 2n. So this this is combined, it will be 2 raised to 2n. For n equals to 16, it will be 2 raised to 32. But for this, 3 raised to 16 will be much smaller and will be doable in this question. So you can go over the proof and try to make sense of it. So essentially I'm just going to use this technique and let's go with the implementation now so we have n up to 16 scores matrix and this will store the pre-computed so scores for all the masks and dp for storing the maximum possible answer for memorization and input n we are in taking input the matrix of scores this is pre-computation for all masks fix a mask and in that mask we 
wherever there is a pair of ones we will add that particular score in the fixed mask this will be the pre-computation of scores for all the masks and after that we will start the recursive function where it is all ones all ones means it is a two two raised to power n minus one so that there will be n bits set and let's now see what this function does essentially the base condition as we saw if there is no element remaining the number of i mean the score will be score to add will be zero this is memorization we initialize the answer with minus infinity means we want to maximize it and for taking the sub mask as we saw in this blog post we are going to use the same technique that they have used which is taking at each point they are taking subtracting one from the mask and taking bitwise and with the original mask and that way we can move on to the next state which is obtained by flipping the bits which were 1 to 0 by taking XOR and the score for that particular submask will be already pre-computed that we saw in this main function to so add that score and add the score for the next grouping that is possible and maximize the answer over all these choices and simply return the answer from here so that is it about this video this was a short one and hope it was helpful do let me know in the comments if you have any doubts or suggestions thank you